this. Good morning, all of you. Uh, today we will see about the preparation of red halides. For today's we will have one remind we will see today. It's a very important reaction, sand mayer reaction. Under sand mayer reaction, anything will be treated with sodium nitride and NCL in presence of 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. We are getting diazonium chloride we are getting. Diazonium chloride we are getting. This diazonium chloride will be treated with the cuprous chloride Cu2 Cl2. Then we are getting which one? Chlorobenzene we are getting. What is the meaning of chlorobenzene? Chlorobenzene is the aryl halide. Okay, I will write to that. I will explain the mechanism. What is the NAD? Amino benzene. On benzene, amine group is coming. It is nothing but amino benzene. Okay, this will be treated with the sodium nitride and LCL combination at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. We are getting diazonium chloride. Which compounds is forming as a diazonium? Diazonium means uh, two nitrogen groups are directly connected together. Such compounds is forming as uh, diazonium. They are uh, all other thing but dyes. Dyes which what the colors? Okay. Anyway, we are getting here diazonium chloride. We are getting nothing but benzene. On it, we are getting N double bond N and Cl. Anyway, in this compound, an N connection will be there. They are calling as diazonium salts or diazonium compound. They are nothing but colored materials. And it will be treated in presence of cuprous chloride. What we are getting? Elimination of nitrogen will be taking place. Then we are getting chlorobenzene we are getting. Okay, if you write like this, you are getting uh, uh, two more minutes, uh, marks for you. But uh, how it is happening? What is the sampling reaction? Whenever any will be treated with sodium nitride and NCL at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, which is very, very low temperature, we are getting initially diazonium chloride, then will be treated with cuprous chloride, we are getting chlorobenzene by the combination of nitrogen gas. Now, I am explaining mechanism. How it is happening, you should come to know. But it is only for understanding purpose, mechanism. You see carefully about mechanism means how these four things will be going on. First of all, sodium nitride will be reacted with HCl. So see carefully, HCl will be reacting with the sodium nitride, Na and O2. Then what is the possibility here? Sodium and chlorine will be coming outside in the form of sodium chloride. After that, we are getting which one? HNO2 we are getting plus NaCl we are getting. HNO2 is what? Nitrous acid. Okay, this is the first step. What is the second step? Second step will be reacting with aniline. Aniline means what? Amino benzene. In ammonia, one hydrogen atom is replaced with benzene. When the resultant compound is calling as amino benzene, commonly calling as aniline. It will be reacted with HNO2. Do you know the structure of HNO2? Yes, it's like a sodium nitride structure. It will become like O double bond N and OH. Structure of HNO. Is it clear? Yes. Now, I am taking this one will be reacting with that HNO2 is nothing but N double bond O and OH. And we are taking here excess of HCl we are taking. Excess state will be just one more consuming here. Still what will be there? HCl will be there. After that, some uh, chemicals is undergoing elimination. Just observe very carefully. From here H2, from here O, H2O elimination. From here O, H2, from here H2, which is eliminating H2O. Finally, how many water molecules is eliminating? Two water molecules is eliminating. After that, joining. How? Benzene. On benzene, what we are getting in the nitrogen? That nitrogen is directly connected with another nitrogen through double bond and double bond N and furtherly connected this one with the chlorine. Then we are getting diazonium chloride. We are getting this nothing but the colors. Like all dyes is nothing but the colors. And finally, what is that one? That diazonium chloride compound I am taking. Under sand layer, what we have to use? 
cuprous chloride you are using CO2 Cl2. Why we are calling as a cuprous chloride here oxidation number of copper will be plus one. If it is also existing plus two, that is calling as cubic. Our least oxidation number us highest oxidation number E. Let me these all things we can manage. Then what happening you see carefully this bond is shifting like this then we are getting charge here plus we are getting minus immediately this bond negative no this one this bonded electron is shifting towards chlorine minus we are getting plus okay already two nitrogen atoms is connected with the double bond and after that they are carrying the opposite charges what they will do a new bond formation means nitrogen triple bond nitrogen it's becoming like which one nitrogen gas after that what is happening? Cl particle. Actually this chlorine will not come from this compound. Whatever chlorine will be there involved in the reaction with this one. Why? Because here carrying charge is positive. Attacked with the Cl minus. Then we are getting which compound we are getting? Chlorobenzene we are getting. He may ask the same reaction with the cuprous bromide Cr to Br. So then which gas is eliminating? Nitrogen gas is eliminating. Now, chlorine is involved in the reaction with bromine. Sorry, ring or bromine will be involved in the reaction with ring. Bromine. From copper salt, whatever halogen will be coming, that will be undergoing substitution. Then we are getting which one? Bromobenzene. We are getting. Are you getting or no? The halogen particle is coming from the uh, halogen of the copper salt. That will be undergoing substitution. All of you this is called as a sand wave reaction. This is for understanding purpose. This is enough for theory examination point of view. And now I will explain another chemical, another preparation. It is nothing but a Ketterman's reaction. Ketterman's reaction. Okay. It is similar to sand wave reaction, but small change will be coming. So under Ketterman reaction, we are taking diazonium chloride we are taking diazonium chlorides we are taking that diazonium chloride will be treated with the under Cu2Cl2 instead of Cu2Cl2 I am using copper and HCl combination then what we are getting chlorobenzene we are getting did you observe a small change from sand layer to better man under sand layer in the final step we are using cuprous chloride instead of cuprous chloride we are using copper and HCl combination getting product will be same so can I write one example here diazonium chloride NG diazonium chloride nothing but N double bond N and C it will be treated with the copper HCl combination same thing nitrogen gas will be uh, eliminating oxide or eliminating Cl minus is eliminating but from HCl whatever chlorine will be there this halogen will be undergoing a substitution then what we are getting chlorobenzene okay now see one more reaction I am doing same with the same reaction with the copper HBr combination we are getting chlorobenzene or chromobenzene this halogen particle will be coming from HBr undergoing the substitution then what we are getting bromobenzene we are getting yes from sand wave to get a map a small reagent will be changing your mind every process will be same so under sand wave reaction the halogen which is undergoing substitution is coming from copper salt and under get a map reaction the halogen which is undergoing substitution is coming from HCl or HBr and see a lost preparation under this one is nothing but schemans reaction Schemans reaction. So, what is the Schemans reaction? Here also we are taking diazonium chlorides, we are taking diazonium chloride, we are taking that diazonium chlorides will be treated with the, one of the chemical is nothing but the fluoroboric acid. Fluoroboric acid, HBFO. Then we are getting which one? Fluorobenzene, we are getting. Chlorobenzene, we are getting. Preparation of fluorobenzene is not that much easy. Why? Because uh, fluorine is a highly reactive chemical, that's why that uh, stability will be very, very less. But even though you are getting that fluorobenzene compounds under which method? Schemans reaction. What is the starting material? Diazonium chloride will be treated with the fluoroboric acid and we are getting fluorobenzene. 
What is that one? Diazonium salt means what is that one? Benzene, arita, diazonium chloride and double bond M and Cl. It will be treated with the fluoroboric acid. What happening? You know very well from here nitrogen is eliminating. From here H and Cl will be eliminating. Means eliminating chemical is nitrogen gas and ammonia uh, is HCl gas. And which is undergoing attacking? From BF3, FPD undergoing a substitution here, then we are getting which chemical fluorobenzene we are getting still one more is remaining, one more, one boron and three fluorides. It's becoming like boron trifluoride. Are you clear? Yes. Once again, see Schemann's reaction is very useful for the preparation of highly reactive fluorine compound nothing but fluorobenzene. Under this, we are taking diazonium chloride will be treated with fluoroboric acid. Then nitrogen gas is eliminating, HCl is eliminating, boron trifluoride is eliminating. Still, one fluorine is remaining. That will be undergoing a substitution. All of you clear? We have four preparation methods for the haloidines. All of you clear? Yes. Yes. Preparation of allyl halides will be over. Now we are discussing about the a concept is very important about chemical properties. Chemical properties of allyl halides. Allyl halides. Nice concept for competitive point of view. Very important. So chemical properties of allyl halide, already you know alkyl halides will be involved in the nucleophilic substitution reaction. But I am telling here see some concept allyl halides will be there, they are involving in the and nucleophilic substitutional reactions. Nucleophilic substitutional reactions. And another one, they also involving in the electrophilic substitutional reactions. Electrophilic and substitutional reactions. Two types of these substitutions will be work out in case of allyl halides. Okay, first of all, we have to discuss about the and nucleophilic substitutional reactions. First of all, we have to discuss about nucleophilic substitutional reactions of allyl halides. Uh, concept is very important, we have to understand very carefully. Again here problem is coming. So first of all we are discussing about the nucleophilic substitutional reactions of allyl halide, but here allyl halides, allyl halides are less reactive less reactive towards towards a nucleophilic nucleophilic substitutional reactions than alkyl halides than alkyl halides concept understood very important question you answer a question like this only why allyl halides are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitutional reactions than organ halides? Involving, but if you compare those reactivity order, allyl halides will be less reactive than the alkyl halides. Why? I'm giving some reasons you can understand. First of all, we have to understand the concept of nucleophilic substitutional reactions. Nucleophilic substitutional reactions means what I know, NU minus is undergoing the substitution. If NU minus nucleophile means negatively charged particle want to undergoing substitution, what has to be favorable conditions? The reacting center should be positively charged. Yes or no? That's why the nucleophilic substitution reactions is directly proportional to you already Latin SN1 mechanism. What is that one? Breaking of break number breaking of which one C X bond first point and also directly proportional to which one stability of which one carbocation. Yes or no? These two things will influence or will favor the nucleophilic substitution. Where 
hydrogen carbon bond will easily break down. Nuclear fuel reception will be high. After breaking, carbocation is stable. It is also highly reactive. So now my concept means RL halide sort of less reactive than nuclear fuel reception reaction than or can have a Y. So you got it in your mind these two points. Now we have to discuss first factor Y. For example, you take which one? This one only. The chlorobenzene you can take. Best example. Why RL halide will be less reactive towards which one? Nuclear fuel reception reaction. Already we know. In this halo arrange, what happening? These lone pair of electrons. First of all, these five bond will be migrating like this. Then we are getting the negative charge here. This carbon is getting the positive charge. Vacancy. The vacancy is satisfied with the lone pair. Then what happening here? We are getting resonance structures. We are getting. Are you getting or no? Yes. Here we are getting minus charge. Here we are getting a double bond and plus. After that, bonds will be remain. Still, it will be participating in the resonance structures. Yes, it will be going like this. Yes, sir. Then we are getting here plus and here minus. Still, it will be going like this. So, in case of RL halides, the halogen atom is involving in the resonance structures with the benzene ring. Then, what happening in RL halides between carbon and halogen? What we are getting? Partially double bond we are getting or one and halogen is connected with single bond. One more bond is a partial bond. Okay, but uh, in case of alkyl halide, like the methyl chloride you take, in case of methyl chloride, is there any chance like this resonance no? That's why what happening in this compound between carbon and halogen we have only single bond. I told already yesterday. Breaking of a double bond is difficult, or breaking of single bond is difficult. Breaking of double bond will be difficult, but breaking of single bond in alkyl halide will be very easy. That's why what I am telling: a nucleophilic substitution reaction speed is directly proportional to breaking of carbon and halogen bond. Where we cannot easily break the carbon and halogen bond, there nucleophilic substitution reaction will be less. But how do you explain like this only? In halo arrangements, by involving of lone pair of halogen with benzene ring, we are getting so many resonance structures. In these resonance structures between carbon and halogen atom, we are getting partially double bond. Breaking bond that the carbon and halogen bond will be requires more energy. That's why the breaking is not that much easy. That's why the whole further reaction will be slow. But in case of alkyl halide between carbon and halogen, we are getting only single bond. Breaking of single bond will be very easy. That's why easily participating in the nuclear free reaction. That's why RL halides are less reactive than alkyl halides. Okay. Now I will tell some other reasons. You have to observe very carefully. Second reason I am explaining. You take one alkyl halide and another one is RL halide. Concept understand very carefully. These all factors will be useful for a competitive point of view. Can you give the example for alkyl halide CH3Ca? In this, carbon is involved in the which hybridization? Sp3 hybridization. Yes, alkyl halide is under comes Sp3 hybridized halogen bond. Under Sp3 hybridization, we are getting S character percentage is how much amount? 25%. You know very well S character percentage is directly proportional to electronegativity. Are you agreeing on why? S character percentage means what the spherical shape is increasing. Spherical shape is increasing means the attraction will be coming towards nucleus from all sides. The pulling it only we are calling as electronegativity. In any hybrid orbital, S character percentage is directly proportional to electronegative character. Now comes to array halides. Aryl halides means best that you take chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene you take. Ah, yes, you know very well. In the benzene, all carbon atoms is commonly involved in the which hybridization? Yes, it is. Why? Because every carbon definitely connected with the double bond. Okay. Now, but how to focus this halogen connected carbon? This halogen connected carbon should be participating in the which hybridization? Yes, it is hybridization. Under sp2 hybridization, we are getting percentage of s character in the will be how? You know, can you tell me? Number of s orbital one by total orbitals three in two hundred. How much is coming? Thirty three point three three percentage is coming. Okay. Now my question: 
If alkaline halide S character positive is 25, if aryl halide S character positive is of the halogen connected carbon is that one, where electronegativity will be more in aryl halide. If electronegativity will be more, what happening in this compound between carbon and chlorine, the pair is undergoing sharing, the shared pair is very strongly filled with the carbon atom because electronegativity will be more, then we are getting CCL bond length is less. CCL bond length is less. That too is around 169 picometers is coming. Compared to this one here, S character percentage is less than between carbon and chlorine, bond length is more or less. More. Why? Pulling nature is less. Pulling nature is less means bond is undergoing expanding. So then automatically here, bond length is more. Nice concept are you observing one more? Once you check it, bond length is more. Bond length is more, that too is around 177 picometers. Now, which can, which bond can easily break down? Yes, long bonds or weak bonds. Weak bond means easily break down. But here, short, short is strong. That's why we can't easily break this bond. Okay, we can't easily break this, this bond. Then what happens in corresponding eutrophic reaction speed will be less. We have to tell like this. In case of alkaline, uh, uh, halogen connected copper hybridization is sp3, s character phosphate is 25. So, relatively s character will be less. That's why pulling nature of that bond pair electron towards carbon will be less. Automatically, bond length is increasing, bond length is increasing, bonds are becoming weak. Bonds are becoming weak, we can easily break down and participating in the chemical match. But, in case of aryl halide, the halogen connected copper is involved in the sp2 hybridization. The relatively s character percentage is more. s character percentage is more. Electronegativity of the carbon will be more. Then what happening? The shared pair of electron is strongly pulled by carbon atom. Then bond length is decreasing. Bond length is decreasing, becoming strong. But if you want to break it, that much it is not that much easy. That's why the chemical reaction speed will be less. I will tell you one more reason. If you take, for example, chlorobenzene, why it is less reactive towards a, a nucleophilic substitution? Okay, you remove the halogen atom, then what you are getting here? Less, here, minus. So, by doing something, you remove that chlorine particle, after that we are getting on benzene ring, what we are getting again? Positive charge. Do you know name of the compound? Phenyl and carrying charge. Phenyl cation. So after breaking, we are getting which one? Phenyl cation we are getting. This phenyl cation is it stable or unstable? Unstable. Why? Okay, if it is not there, what happens? They are continuously involved in a migration. We are getting resonance structures. Because of positive charge, what happening? It disturbs that migration of the pi bond means it disturbs that resonance structure formation. Means because of positive charge, the whole resonance structures will be disturbed. Our resonance structures is not there, stability is not there. Thus far, the phenyl cation will be relatively less stable or almost unstable. That's why. Is it favorable this breaking? No. Why? After breaking, the particle is less stable. Why it will uh, break the bond? Not. That's why there is no chance to break the no bond, means there is no chance to break the positive charge. There is no chance to break the positive charge, means there is no chance to attack the nucleophile. That's why it's the less probable for the nucleophilic substitution reaction. And uh, last one I am telling very simple thing. So if you take have any one halide, if you can take like this, bonds will be I am telling the whole molecule is electron rich center. Are you agreeing or why? This halogen particle has the open and this whole electron will be undergoing a continuous migration. It will be above the plane and below the six membered the spine. The whole body is acting as an electron rich center. The approaching particle is what? Nucleophile. Nucleophile is also discharge, negatively charged. The whole body is also acting as a negatively charged. Is it any chance to attach? No. That's why what happening? The attacking of nucleophile on this reaction will be less possibility. That's why the nucleophilic substitutional reactions under aryl halides will be less tendency or less possibility. What my point? 
Yes, if you take a promo Benji, on this free uh, electrons will be there, loan paid will be there. In this, whatever six five electron will be there, they are continuously revolving around the six member ring and below the six member ring, that's why the whole error halide will become like a negatively charged. And approaching particle is also neutrophile negatively charged. It's not favorable because like charged particles is always a red particle. So this is what the much favorable that's why the reaction tendency will be less. All of you get? So finally what we get there, they are involving in the both nucleophilic and electrophilic, but uh, it is relatively less tendency towards nucleophilic reactions than the alkyl halide because of these four reasons. All of you get? Yes.